Okay. We're going to look at black crystal opal. Okay. This, this stone is clear and black at the same time. One end to the other, but only part of it, right? Not the whole stone. Hmm? Just that one part of it, just the upper part. Okay, why? Why does that happen? In the Indonesian opals, it's always the upside of the root that, that these form in that gets precious opal. The bottoms are usually potch of some sort, and they look like wood, uh, actually, and I personally think it looks really cool. <laughs> you know, it's, it is really cool. It's not like potch, right? It's cool. Um, so, this is black crystal, and and it's clear, yeah. and and black. Uh, so, but the black is not a color. Okay, black is not a color. Black is the absence of color. The reason that stone looks black to you is because the light goes in, but it doesn't come back out. It gives no information. It returns no information. So our brain, our mind, sees that as black. It is black, like the night sky is black. Because the light passes through it and does not return any information. Okay? Black is not a color. It is the absence of color. Black opals. are not really black at all. They are, um, well, yeah, black, I guess. Like, um, the little spheres actually are kind of about like obsidian. Huh? That's what they look like, obsidian. Each little tiny sphere. Because the sulfides that make up opal black opal are absorbing a little bit of light in each sphere. They are bound to the silica tetrahedron inside the spheres of silica. Molecules of iron sulfide and iron oxide. Iron oxide makes light opal. Iron sulfide makes dark opal. And those sulfides absorb light. Uh, so the light goes in and it's absorbed by the sulfides in black opal. It's not black stuff between the, the spheres. This is what black stuff between the spheres looks like. That's what black stuff between the spheres looks like. That's what it will always look like. Because it interrupts the passage of light through the spheres of silica. Precious opal is about breaking light in its component colors. That's what it does. 
there aren't any red things in there or blue things or anything other than black and clear. Little tiny spheres, so little that we couldn't see them until we found out, found electron microscopes out. And you know what? They were about the second or third thing people looked at with an electron microscope. Because these stones have fascinated physicists forever. My father was a physicist. That's where I found out about them. Peace, y'all.